Hey guys, my name is Theodore Park. I'm gonna be showing you guys on how to balance this. So this has multiple names. It has uh, three names actually. You can call it the stabilizer. You can call it a gimbal, uh, a steady cam, or a lot of people known as a glide cam. So this is one of the cheaper versions out there. And this is one of my personal favorites. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys on how to do this. Um, I'm not comfortable with talking, so bear with me. This is our first tutorial, so let's go. So as you can see, we're gonna be balancing our beautiful mark with the lens 30 cap. It is an 18 to 135 lens. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take this rail off. So on the side right here, you're gonna unscrew it right here and you're gonna roll it out. Awesome. So on some of the stabilizers, it comes with these little screws right here. You're gonna have two of them right there. And so what you wanna do is you wanna take one out because when you mount it, the other one's gonna be hitting the camera and then that's gonna unscrew it and loosen it up. So take this out right here, unscrew it and put it in your bag. Keep it safe and always put everything back together so it's easier on the people who return the cameras. So right here, you're gonna put it on. I like to have it on the back right here. I'm gonna screw it on right here. The uh, best part is that right here, it has this little notch that comes out and you can just slowly screw it in like that instead of using a coin or a key. So it makes things a lot easier to tighten. So you can tighten it up right here. You will want it tight because you don't want it moving around. Lower the flap and it should look like this. Make sure you have your battery in right here, your battery, your SD card and your lens on. Take out the lens cap. Every little thing um, will compensate for the weight. So if you have it a little zoomed in, then it's gonna throw off the weight. So you always wanna have it zoomed out. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it in right here. <clears throat> right there. What I like to do is I like to keep it around middle right there. Then I like to tighten it. So the first things you wanna do is you wanna try to balance it in the middle real quick. So there's multiple ways to balance this. As you can see, if you lift it up right away, it's gonna be doing some weird stuff right there. The reason why it's going upside down right away is because it's top heavy. And so what that means is that the camera's heavier than the bottom. So the way to fix that is, the first thing to do is there's this little latch right here. You're gonna unscrew it. And what that does is that it extends it more. So then you're gonna be having more weight distributed throughout the whole camera body, the gimbal. So now that if you lift it up, it's low, it's not flipping over now. So now to be able to test that if the weights, if you need to take one off. So as you can see, there's a thick one right here. You have two smaller ones. These two ones are the same as this one thick one. So just keep that in mind when you're balancing it. I'm pretty sure with the marks, you wanna keep all three. For the T6i's, you wanna keep two. And then for the Lumixes, either two or just one of the thick ones. So keep that in mind, take that as a note. So uh, to test this out, there's a three second drop test. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold it with your right hand or your left hand, whatever you're dominant with. You're gonna hold it up to the side like this. You're gonna drop it. If it drops faster than three seconds, then the bottom's too heavy. So one, see, that's too heavy. So the best way to do it is shorten it down. So you're gonna unscrew it, bring it down a bit, and then tighten it again, do the drop test again. One, two, so that's a little slower. Now you wanna lower it a bit. If you lower it all the way and it's not working, then you have to take off the weights. So lower it again, do the three second drop test right here. One, two, three, see how it goes right there? And the reason why it's not in the middle is because the top is not balanced. So then now you can focus on balancing the top. So if you hold it right here and let go, you can obviously tell that it's leaning back. What that means is that you wanna grab this side right here and you wanna push it forward just a little bit. Lift it back up and now it should be a little balanced. See now it's only tilting to the left. So there's this screw right here that you can move right to left. So the basic principle is just to keep it in the middle and balance. So then now you can just move it to the left, or I mean, sorry, my, the right, because it was leaning to the left. You pick it up and you let go softly. Now it's leaning to the right a bit. So this is just minor adjustments that you have to just 
play around with. It's always best to have a flat table so you're not trying to balance it like this. Did up. <clears throat> now it should be balanced in the middle, as you can see. Now do your three second drop test again. So right here, one, two, three. So that was a little fast. If you want to be really perfect and have more stable shots, you can lower it just a tad bit more. And then now when you do the three second drop test, it should be slower. One, two, three, bam. So now when you hold it with your right hand on the handle or your left hand, whichever you're comfortable with, this hand, you would never want to grip it like this. You always want to grip it with just your fingers, slightly touching it and then let go. So this is all for balancing the Steadicam or gimbal. Um, again, when you're taking this apart, uh, always be courteous to keep your strap and put it back on the camera. Also, when you're putting the weights back, don't just throw it in the back, put it all back together and put it in the back. It's gonna be so much faster for the people returning the cameras. Thank you guys and I hope you guys have fun, enjoy.